Hello, welcome to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Barb. Uh, this is uh, technical bulletin number five about the Faros hand grinder. Um, it's, uh, I've assembled a lot of these grinders now. And each day when I assemble a grinder, I think about what I'm doing and observe um, you know, whatever tweaks I can make or, or techniques for alignment or assembly, or how I can make it better. But um, for the last 20 or so grinders, I've fallen into a, a, what I think is a really simple uh, technique for aligning the grinder and setting it all up. Um, <clears throat> what can happen with the grinder is a person can become obsessed over the burr. There you have, this is the our burr setup. Okay, and you look at this, you see, okay, now I should be able to get that alignment so it is just perfect. This is true. But it's not necessarily the ideal way to go, to obsess over the burr, the tap. Tech Bulletin 4, I was talking about tapping the burr, moving it around, locking it in place and whatnot. But then you neglect the, the big picture, the whole grinder, the whole thing uh, as it is, uh, simply lower bearing, upper bearing, holds the rod, burr spins in the center of the rod in the outer bearing, outer burr. So this is the way I now do it. And you note we have changed to the two uh, uh, thumb nuts for the top uh, uh, grind setting. And actually I do like this, this approach rather than just the single. So basically, I have taken uh, this grinder, number 156. I've taken this and I've assembled all the components. And you see how loose it is. Nothing is tightened yet. Nothing is binding. So, the first thing I want to do is make sure my two bearings and burr axle are, are nice and smooth. So, I take this and I run up a good bit of... of the two adjustment nuts so I can clack it around and I can see that this is nice and smooth. No binding on the upper or the lower bearing. Turns around really nicely. Then what I do is that I take this, pull it all the way up, move down to zero, and then I come back about a quarter of a turn. Spin the top down to it, tighten it, okay? I have a very small space at the top. Now, this is floating on springs. So, we know that our upper and our lower bearings are in alignment, that the, the axle is just sitting on those two bearings. And this is free to move to align itself to the inner burr. So what I do at this point, I just kind of dial it and listen to it. It's pretty much striking all the way around. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like if you were going to open a safe. You can feel that it's that the outer edge of that in, the, the inner burr is dragging all the way around. And then I just take these by hand and tighten these up until there's no more movement. Need a little bit more force. Okay, you don't need a big wrench. Okay, there's no wiggle. I just tighten the top one until there's no wiggle. Until these are just take the, the looseness out of them. This is enough to compress the. I don't know if you can see that bar, but I just saw it. See that? Can you focus? Zoom in there see. on that crack. You see that crack? Yeah. 
Watch. I turn that down. See the gap? Yep. See the gap? It just yep. disappeared. Okay. This is enough tension to hold that against the plate. Now, we go ahead, and that has, has socked in. This gap has disappeared. The gap up here has disappeared during that tightening. tightening. So we take this, we take it back down to zero, and let's set this at about, there's about an eighth of a turn out. Very small gap. Set it down, and turn. And listen. No touch. All right? It's very nicely aligned. I haven't had to hit the sides. I haven't had to do any trial and error moving it around. What I've done is, as you saw, the first thing, with the frame loose, I've aligned the axle onto the two bearings. I left a, about a quarter of a turn gap while it was loose, tightened these down until there was no more wiggle in in these tubes so in other words I tightened it down so it was even all around and it just basically self aligns my final here is that I now have a torque wrench this is a bicycle it's, it's a bicycle shop wrench I have this set at two newton meters that corresponds to about 20 inch pounds. This is very light. I take this now and I lock in my my set there. This constitutes the UC. How far do we go? About a half turn more from our first tightness. If you don't have the torque wrench, a little more than a half turn. All right. Now it's completely, completely locked in. Everything is compressed. It's not going to move. Real nice alignment at an eighth of a turn. That is less than you'll use for most espresso grinding. But the point is, here's the tail. See these? All four of these are loose. Now, that constitutes the space that you saw disappear below, below the thing. This is the tail that I've done this well, that I've done it right. If you have on your initial tightening of the bolts, if one of these is, is not wiggling, you take your little, there it is, you take it, and if it's, if it's not wiggling, you take it and you say, is it binding? You just because they can bind. So in this situation, <coughs> I'm finding that I far prefer to take the whole grinder approach to look at the entire grinder as a whole, rather than simply focusing here on the burr because it can throw you off. And literally, you, you can you can chase this this level of of uh, amazing perfection on the burr to the extent that that you're chasing artifacts because it, you can work it in here and not have the two bearings aligned properly and so I just at this point taking the whole grinder approach to very very simply while it's loose get the axle aligned on the upper and, and, and lower bearing so it moves nice and smoothly leave a small gap tighten this up until the gap disappears set it tight check it listen and if it's not right just do it again you don't really have to, to to struggle with this as you see just one time out of the box loose tighten it up final check listen feel a very nice adjustment right now very nice alignment very simple adjustment you know i i i, I think that you know i i have i'm able to repeat this time and time and time and time again so I'm very satisfied with uh, this technical bulletin number five as the simple way of getting an extremely good burr alignment on the Pharos.